Rotten Teeth. Inside the tooth, under the white enamel, is a hard tissue called dentin. Inside the dentin is a soft tissue called pulp. The pulp contains the tooth's nerves and blood vessels. It extends from the crown of the tooth into the roots of your teeth. If the pulp becomes inflamed or infected, your endodontist will remove it, relieving your pain or discomfort. Opening is made through the crown of the tooth and into the pulp chamber. Fluid is put in the canals to kill any bacteria and help rinse out debris. Then, the pulp is removed. Using small instruments, the endodontist carefully cleans and shapes the canals. After the space is cleaned and shaped, the endodontist fills and seals the root canals. In most cases, a temporary filling is placed to close the opening until you see your dentist. After your endodontist is finished, you must return to your dentist to have your tooth properly restored with a filling or crown. Chances are your other 28 teeth have taken up all the available space in your mouth. In that case, instead of growing in like a normal tooth, wisdom teeth get trapped or impacted in your jaw, which often makes them grow in at odd angles and press against your back molars, causing pain and swelling. It also forms a narrow crevice between the teeth creating the perfect food trap. This makes the tooth difficult to clean, which attracts more bacteria and can cause infection and tooth decay, eventually leading to gum disease if left untreated. But it gets worse. Tooth decay can eventually destroy your wisdom tooth. So to save you and your teeth from such a horrible fate, dentists will often remove wisdom teeth before You may lose your rotten teeth. Gingivitis is a disease of the gum tissue that surrounds a tooth. The primary cause of gingivitis is a lack of oral hygiene. A biofilm of bacteria called dental plaque starts to accumulate on teeth, particularly at the gum line. The bacteria in the biofilm releases toxins. The body reacts to the toxins by causing an inflammation of the gums. The gums bleed easily when touched and can emit a foul odor. To help prevent gingivitis, start by brushing at least twice daily to remove any plaque buildup. Daily flossing will also help remove any bacteria in between the teeth. Along with scheduled visits to your dentist, you can help prevent gingivitis from becoming a severe oral health issue. with open mouth. They contain harmful bacteria for your teeth. Bye.
Applied Bass Technique of Toothbrushing is used by patients that have good manual dexterity and limited gum recession. The brush is placed at a 45 degree angle onto the front surface of the teeth, with the bristles projecting into the pocket surrounding the tooth. A small circular motion is made with the bristles into the pocket. Then, the bristles are swept from the gum line to the biting surface of the tooth, brushing over the entire front surface. This technique is then completed on the inside surfaces of the teeth. The toothbrush is once again placed into the pocket at a 45 degree angle, completing small circles, then brushed from the gum line to the biting surface of the tooth.